Metamorphopsis, or otherwise distortion of images being observed by an individual, are often the first symptom of macular eye disease. The macula is the part of the retina responsible for sharp central vision. Any pathology within it is quickly noticed by the patient. Distortion of the image is caused by swelling of the retina, with attendant wrinkling of its surface. A patient suffering metamorphopsis will see straight lines as curved when looking at an ancillary grid test card. This symptom is typical for different types of macular disease. The following are examples. Vitreoretinal traction syndrome, epiretinal membranes, age-related macular degeneration, retinitis, central serous chorioretinopathy, macular edema as found for example in diabetes, and central retinal vein occlusion. During the standard fundus examination, diagnosing the cause of distortion is often difficult. This is because the particular retinal structures are seen one-dimensionally and not in cross-section. For a thorough analysis, it is necessary to perform a tomography, SOCT, of the retina. With cross-section and 3D images, a diagnosis can often be made within a few minutes. One of the conditions observed in SOCT is a vitreoretinal traction syndrome. It is particularly critical because it can lead to the formation of a macular hole. In such a situation, central vision is significantly damaged. Methods of treatment of vitreoretinal traction include vitreoretinal surgery and enzymatic vitreolysis. Vitreolysis is a minimally invasive method of injecting a drug directly into the interior of the eyeball. Various attempts at pharmacological dissolution of traction and posterior vitreous detachment using enzymes have been practiced for a considerable time. Unfortunately, up to now, no drug has been found that would effectively dissolve all forms of traction and at the same time be safe for eye tissues. One of the safest and least expensive of enzymes, whose application can be repeated, is supported by our study. This drug is called Recombinant Tissue Plasminogen Activator, TPA for short. The aim of our research was to obtain data on the efficacy of such TPA intravitreal injections in dissolving vitreoresinal tractions. The results were very favourable showing that in the TPA group, the traction dissolved in 33% of cases, compared to the control group with only 16%. In addition, we also confirmed that within six months, visual acuity improved slightly in patients treated with TPA, whereas the control group with no treatment suffered a deterioration in vision.